Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson. I'm a wedding cinematographer, and this video is the second in my series on my run and gun video shooting settings. So if you haven't watched my first video where I go through all the menus of the Sony a7S II in detail, every single section of them, please watch that first because we're going to be building upon that foundation. I'll put a link to my previous video right here, which is all about menu settings, etc., which should be very helpful to you. But this video is going to be all about this guy, which is the mode dial on the camera, which you're, I'm sure you're like, Matt, what, is that really that exciting? It's a, it's a dial. And I'm like, yes, it is super helpful. And it's amazing if you're running gun shooting because you can very quickly change your frame rates and your resolution without needing to dive into the menus of the camera. So literally you can be shooting in 4K, flip one switch, and you can be shooting in 60 or 120 frames per second with very little effort on your part, which gives you greater room to tell the story that you're trying to tell. Let's jump right in and get right to it. First off, before you do anything else, look at your camera. What are you currently doing at the top? Me, it says I'm shooting an XABCS 4K at 24p. I'm shooting at 150th shutter speed, f5.6 and I'm at ISO 200 and I'm at 3200K white balance. Keep all that in mind because these settings are the settings that we're gonna say. Also, one last thing, make sure you are in video mode at the top whenever you have all your settings dialed in. So we're gonna click menu, make sure you're on the camera icon in the top left and go all the way over to subheading nine. It says audio out timing, wind noise reduction, etc. At the bottom, it says memory, click that. Now you see it says memory one, two, M1, M2, M3, M4. One and two are what we're gonna be focusing on today because one and two are here on the control wheel too. Pretty cool, huh? So those are the two we're gonna be focusing on. The one and two at the top and the one and two on the back of the screen here. So let's go to one and click enter. And it's gonna go back out to the menu and you're like, what did that do? Click menu and it goes back to your screen. Now take your control dial and switch it to one. What you're gonna see pop up, it says recall in the top left. It shows that it's video mode M, 150 shutter speed, ISO 200, 3200K. Those are all my settings that I just had. So click enter, and now your camera has switched to those settings because you went to preset one. Pretty darn awesome. So you say, okay, great, Matt, that's great. That's one thing. What else can I do with this here? Let me show you. Hit menu again, go back to the camera icon in the top left, but this time go to subheading two. There you'll see file format XAVCS 4K and under that record setting 24p 100M. Let's click that and let's go up to 30p 100M. So that's 30 frames per second at 100 megabits per second. Select that, hit menu again, it goes out. You'll notice that all the settings are still the same except now on the top it says XAVCS 4K 30 and at the bottom it says 150th. Because we are now shooting at 30 frames per second though, we need to double our shutter speed so let's bring that up to 160th. Otherwise, we're gonna leave all the settings the same. We're gonna click menu again. We're gonna go back over to the camera icon, go to subheading nine, back to memory. This time, we're gonna select two. Select it, go out. Now, you notice it currently says XAVCS 30P and you're like, okay. Go ahead and switch the dial from one to two. You'll notice that whenever you do that, it brings up the recall menu again, but this time it says 160 the shutter speed, F4, so click enter. Now you are shooting with those exact settings. Now let's switch back to 24p from 30p. Do not touch anything else. All you have to do is flip the dial to one, press enter, oh my gosh. Now we're back to 24p, 150 shutter speed, all of our settings are there just as we had them before, which is amazing because there's no need to go into like the menu and change everything and do all this sort of stuff. Typically whenever I'm shooting on the wedding day, I'll often shoot a lot of the B-roll at 4K 30 or 1080p 60 or 120 frames per second even. I shoot a lot of varied frame rates and I don't like having to dive into the menus to make those changes. So what I typically do is I leave setting one as 4K 24 frames per second. So if I'm filming say the bride reading the note or I'm filming the wedding ceremony or I'm filming the toast at the reception, I want to always be able to go back to one and have that be 4K, 24 frames per second, so I know that I'm getting good audio and that everything will match up between my cameras. But whenever I want to shoot any B-roll at a different shutter speed, I just go to two. And you say, Matt, it really can't be that easy. It is, it's awesome. Let's say you're like, well, Matt, I don't want to shoot at 4K 30, I want to shoot at a different setting. That's fine too. Does not matter if you are on one, two, or on the film strip whenever you do this part of the settings because the camera already remembers that you are in video mode because it's already saved that. So any modifications you make, the camera will still be in video mode. So let's go to menu, let's go to the camera icon, go to subheading two. This time instead of choosing XAVCS 4K, let's choose XAVCS HD. And then below that, for record setting, let's choose 60p 50m. So 60 frames per second, 50 megabit speed, 
select that, hit menu. Now you're gonna go out here and you'll see it says XAVCS HD 60p at the top, but it's only at 1 60th. And that's not a good shutter speed because you want your shutter speed to be double. Let's bring up our shutter speed to 1 1 25th shutter speed. Now, that's looking pretty good, and that's the settings that I would shoot it if I was shooting in slow motion in here. Let's go to menu, we will go to subheading 9, down to memory, and we're going to select 2. Click enter, click menu. Now if you go on the mode dial to 1, it will be 4K at 24 frames per second, just like you saved earlier. And if you go to 2, it will be at XAVCS HD 60p at 1 1 25th shutter speed just as you saved it. So now you can go very nearly instantly. Okay, I'm shooting 4K. That looks great. Oh man, I really want to shoot this part in slow-mo. Click slow-mo. We're recording that quickly. So if you're in a run and gun scenario where you're like, oh man, I got to change this stuff fast. Now you can do it incredibly fast. Lastly, let's talk about some other memory settings I've found to be pretty darn awesome, especially if you're running gun shooting and you need to change things quickly. So let's go back into menu, subheading 9, go to memory, and you'll notice here that you have your 1 and 2 that we were already messing with, and you have M1, M2, M3, M4. These are presets that are saved that are still accessible by the 1 and 2 on the scroll wheel, but you have to scroll over to get to them. So to illustrate, let me show you that now. Let's say that we also want to shoot at XAVCS HD, but we want to shoot at 120 frames per second. So let's go to menu, let's go to the camera icon on the top, subheading 2, file format XAVCS HD, record setting, let's change that to 120p 100m. Now it says XAVCS HD 120p, and you'll see at the bottom the shutter speed is now 1 1 25th, which is not high enough for 120 frames per second, you're gonna get some motion blur. So let's bring up the shutter speed all the way up to 1 250th of a second. Once we've done that and all your settings are as you want, let's click menu again, let's go all the way over to subheading 9 again, down to memory, but this time we're gonna go over twice and we're gonna select M1. Hit select. After you select that it goes back to the screen and you're like, did it do anything? Well, let's see here. Let's go on the mode dial from 2 to 1 you notice it brings up the recall menu and you notice you can select one, but you can also select M1, M2, M3, M4. So M1 is currently, if you go over it, it says 1 2 50th, F4, 120p, 3200k. So we're gonna select it, and oh my goodness, there are my settings that I had before. There's 120 frames per second, but I'm on setting one. So it really works well if you need to make changes and you wanna save a lot of presets. So by using presets on the control dial one and two, along with M1, M2, M3, M4, you can have six different frame rates and resolution sizes presets saved. And so think about this, the possibilities are really endless. Say you're shooting indoors and outdoors on the day, and so you've already been indoors and you know that it's 3200K, but you know outdoors is gonna be 5500K. So you can go into your settings and you can set M1 to be 4K at 24 frames per second at 3200K, and you can set M2 to be 4K at 24 frames per second at 5500K. Now that's only a little variance, but it saves you from having to go into the settings and change your white balance, which is really awesome. For a more extreme example, you could have setting one be 4K at 24 frames per second, setting two be 4K at 30 frames per second, M1 be 1080p at 60 frames per second, M2 be 1080p at 120 frames per second, and then you still have two to play around with if you want to do, say, different white balance settings or something like that. You have a ton of presets built into this control dial, this camera, that saves you from ever having to dig into the menu once you've saved your settings. So keep that in mind if you're in a run and gun filming scenario and you have to make split second decisions about what you want to film and how you want to film it. That's about it for the mode dial here. For my next video, I'm gonna be talking about custom buttons and how I have those set up so I can change the settings that I need to change most often very quickly. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave one below or send me an email through my website, whoismat.com. You can also check out my wedding film production company, FilmStrong Productions, at filmstrong.com. Thanks and have a great day.